reconstructing the excavation as a chariot, we devised a shape of vehicle that fits the excavation that we had. Two tyres, which being the outsides of the wheels uh, and being iron, preserved the positions exactly so we knew where they sat. We know how long it was because the, the four terrets, uh, nice little iron rings, are exactly positioned for us already in the excavation so we can measure the length. Most of the, most of the timber in here is ash. Some of the small bentwood parts are hazel. You do need to have timbers which have been dried for the larger bits Timbers straight out of the woods, steam bent or bent with hot water. Uh, an appropriate floor would be woven out of rawhide thong, which a lot of Egyptian ones had and some Etruscan ones. Once you've made it, you find that that floor gives you just enough bounce to make it comfortable. The wheels are extremely sophisticated, in fact. The one piece shrunk on iron tyre consists of a ring of of iron, which is heated up and placed around the wheel and shrinks onto it as it cools. If you've got all the sizes of everything right, it will actually compress your wheel a little bit, uh, squeeze all the joints together and keep it firm and strong and tight. In order to hold the thing together, we've used cow skin here. So it actually is the ideal material. To, to make these bindings. And I, nothing's better, really, I mean, until you get to something like fibreglass. Certainly with other British chariots and, and, and chariots elsewhere, a great deal of effort was lavished on making them uh, ornamented. Um, there was, in fact, a trace on the two middle turrets of organic material which suggested that something had been tied to the top of them. So we made a colourful little cockade and um, fixed it on. With animal skins and hides around, there would have been some value placed upon coloured ones. So we've used one with some colour in it. If you look at Roman vehicles, the Romans in many cases were cribbing Celtic chariot forms and technologies. If you can imagine that Celtic influence runs over the Romans, it is at least in the way that they made their wheels.